Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to do a get ready with me and I'm going to be using um, some products that I purchased through the uh, Nordstrom anniversary sale and I wanted to share with you. One of them is this Laura Mercier face palette and this is gorgeous. It has a beautiful mirror and also some highlighters and a uh, bronzer. And the other product is this Bobbi Brown eye and face palette look how beautiful this is this is like that marble and it brings eyeshadows um two highlighters because this is really way too light for being a blush and then a bronzer so i also my lipstick and lip gloss is from the anniversary sale i bet you can't do that if you try so you'll be seeing that later on. So this is how we begin our video. Welcome to Clara's World. All right, guys, if you want to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. <laughs> okay, guys, so today we're going to do a get ready with me, and I'm going to be using most of the products are going to be brand new and like a first impression also, but I'm pretty confident with some of them because I know the brands that I really love. So I will be very surprised if I will be disappointed by them. But I've already prepped my skin, including the primer. I did use, since I'm using a new foundation, I didn't want to use a new primer that may, you know, change the way the foundation works. So I use something that I know I can count on. And I'm using the Clarence SOS primer, which I really do enjoy. And um, it has like a little lavender um, tint to it. So it kind of helps um, neutralize your skin a little bit so I really do enjoy it it has a very mild scent but um, it's just like a very fresh mild scent but it's, if you can see it kind of blurs my skin so I really do really enjoy this primer and then I use the Tarte this is the uh, what are they called clean slate and this is the one for your pores and I use just a little bit around my nose and my cheeks where I have the main my main uh, enlarged pores so the foundation that we're using today this is relatively uh, new to um, Ulta and this is by Yoma U-O-M-A and this is a um, I believe it's pretty much like an indie brand and I've never heard of them before but I wanted to try it um, I looked and went into the website and I really was impressed and I liked things that they had in there. I also have a palette by them that looks gorgeous and I haven't tried it on yet. I did um, post swatches on my Instagram account. So if this is something that you're interested, you can go look there. But let's get started so this doesn't take forever because get ready with me tend to be a little lengthy and I really don't want it to take forever. So I'm just gonna dot it on my face. I need to use a beauty blender, no, beauty sponge, it's not a beauty blender because that's how I apply my foundations most of the time. So um, while I'm doing this, I wanted to, to discuss something with you guys. Um, you know how I've always talked to you guys about how you can save money by you know saving your Ulta points, how to earn extra Ulta points, and Sephora started um, several months back making it a little easier for people to use their points, their rewards. And one of the things that they were doing is if you um, had 2,500 reward points on Tuesdays and Thursdays, they will give you an opportunity to buy a, it was, it's more like a voucher. It's not really a gift card because anything that you buy with that voucher, you can return. It's non-returnable. So if you purchase something that is the wrong shade, that in, you're allergic to it, you're stuck with it. Okay, so it's more like a voucher. And um, so anyways, I, um, I used to save my points and I used to, you know, it takes a while to accumulate 2,500 points, even for someone like me and for a person that just buys regular makeup once in a while, it would take even longer. I'm going to put a little more on my cheeks where my dark spot, spots are, but so far it has pretty good coverage. So I like it. It's not fully matte, but it's not really dewy either. I would say it's like um semi-matte maybe. But anyways, so I had 2,500 points that I have been saving from Sephora. And um, on Tuesday, I went to see if I could get a 
one of those hundred dollar gift cards okay so it used to be 2500 points for a hundred dollar gift card they had a fifth dollar gift card for fifteen hundred dot for fifteen hundred points why why sephora why are you doing that i don't understand you know pretty soon you know i really do a lot of my shopping anything i can get at ulta i buy it at ulta i don't even use sephora unless it's a brand that they don't carry at ulta but ulta is killing it they're getting more and more brands now sunday riley is at ulta and I get the Luna Oil and the Good Jeans from Sunday Riley. So that's another product that I don't have to buy at Sephora. I get more 20% off discounts. I can use my 20% off plus my points. So I don't understand. Are they that rich? Are they that, you know, they don't really need their customers? They don't care if they lose some customers? So anyway, that was Tuesday. So I said, well, maybe on Thursday they'll have the $100 one. So I looked today, and now they have a $25 gift card for 1,000 points. So how exactly does that make any sense? I can't find mine. Okay, so I'm going to use for concealer. This is not new. This is the uh, MAC. I didn't get any new concealers. And um, uh, some of the products that I'm using, I got it through the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. But um, I've had this for a while, and um, this is the uh, MAC pro long wear concealer so i really don't it really upsets me because i just don't think that that's right i mean they are as stingy with their discounts as crazy they only do it like a couple of times a year i just received one that is good for next week and i, I wasn't even trying to get the voucher for that because i know you can use it with the uh you know if you have the the gift card that you earned you can use a discount code with it you have to use one or the other well i really have the dark circles today guys you know what i had um let me try a little bit of this this is mark jacobs and i've had this for a little while but i really don't use it and this is a um corrector let me see if i can use a little bit there because i really have dark circles today I should have done it before my uh, concealer, but hey, it's okay. So anyway, I just wanted to vent because um, I think that's ridiculous. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's right. And I don't know, you know, how about the, I mean, Laura Mercier, I can, I get at Sephora, but I can get that at Macy's or Nordstrom. I mean, anything really pretty much that. Sephora sales, Sephora sells. There we go. I can find at Beautylish or I can find at Macy's or Nordstrom, and I can earn reward points there too. Now Beautylish, I don't think they have any any kind of reward points. Okay, I think that's a little better. I don't know. I don't think there's much more I can do for that. Okay, so for powder, I am going to use the Fenty beauty um and this is in butter and i'm just going to use a little bit under this is what i'm putting in there i may not even use all of it but a little under my eyes and then also to set my face so um let me know how you feel about that i mean i know that and i'm not telling you i don't like sephora i i love to go in their website and buy stuff but they really annoy me like they make it very difficult for people that spend their hard-earned money to reward them if you're going to offer a reward program then do it right and then don't start something and take it away or make it more difficult so i don't know i feel like i saved all those points for nothing because i didn't buy anything i didn't think it was I'm just going to put a little bit of powder through the rest of my face my bigger powder brushes dirty so i'm using this one which is a farah i like my it cosmetics powder brush better a little better than this one but i have to wash brushes this weekend that is the one thing about makeup that i have to say i don't enjoy washing brushes 
All right, so that's all the powder that I'm, I'm going to put on, just enough to kind of set my face a little bit. I've already um, primed my eyes. I used the um, MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And the uh, palette that I'm going to use is the one by Bobbi Brown. It's so pretty. And this one is, whoops, one... Just keep dropping stuff one that i got through the nordstrom anniversary sale so this is going to be a very neutral look because bobby brown usually has more soft eyeshadows but that's okay let me find a bigger fluffy brush here we go and i'm going to start out with this color right here Oop. this one right here does it have a name? No. Nope. And it doesn't have it on the plastic either. And it does have it in the back, which is... I hate when they do this. Can't read it. This palette is called The Essentials Deluxe Eyeshadow and Face Palette. It's very pretty. It definitely would be nice for traveling because it has six different eyeshadows. And it does have a um, bronzer a blush and a highlighter and I mean you can use these on your eyes also so it's definitely a very nice face palette and I do like Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown products if you know if you want a softer look so this week I don't know since I shouldn't say this week because I feel like it's been raining in Florida for three months straight oh my goodness it's like every night, like after, sometime after three, it just starts storming. I mean, we got some really bad thunder and lightning storms. And today it's very cloudy, so I don't expect anything different today. I'm going to make a simple look on my eyes and then just wear a, uh, a darker lip which is also a Bobbi Brown. I'm not gonna use the face part of this uh, palette because I have another palette that I also purchased through the Nordstrom anniversary sale that I wanna try. And it's for my favorite brand, one of my favorite brands, Laura Mercier. I really do like that brand. All right guys, I'm going to take a smaller brush and darken up my outer V and take a little bit of it into the uh, the crease with that dark chocolate brown. So I know I said that the next time that I did uh, get ready with me it was going to be with my NARS palette. But um, these palettes are also very pretty. And um, I didn't do a Nordstrom Anniversary Sale um, video because there were so many online that I was really tired of seeing them on my, every time I opened my tablet. So I didn't do one. So I thought, well, why not make one using some of the products that I purchased? And... Um, because I didn't sit there and make a list ahead of time of what I wanted. I'm just blending that brown a little bit. I'm going back with the lighter color to kind of like just blend everything together. Okay, now I'm going to put the darker brown on the other side. And I'm just patting the... Um, the color on the end here where I want most of the pigment to go and then just take a little bit into my crease. They blend very nicely. It's a drier formula and as you can see I really don't have any fallout from it. I mean it, it blends really nice so I don't have a problem with it. And no fallout is nice as long as I can get pigment and the look I want. So I'm going to take 
think I'm going to go for the lightest color right here to put it all over my lid. And I'm going to use my finger. It's pretty. It's like a has like a very a little bit of, of a pink in it. Very very light. It's between like a champagne and a pink. So I'm going to take the one where I use my the brown shade and I didn't put any additional um, product. I'm just kind of blending over the edge of both colors to kind of like blend them together. Because the shimmer kind of went over the brown so I'm just kind of like marrying them together. So I'm going to look for a thinner brush, a pencil brush, and I'm going to take the dark brown and just put a little bit on my lower lash line. As thin as I can get it. Okay, and then for my inner corner, I'm going to use this Thrive Cosmetics pencil. I find this so much easier to use than shadow. And just go on my inner corner. Can be a lot more precise with this than one shadow and once this dries it doesn't go anywhere all right so I'm going to take a little more of the brown and kind of like make the this a little smokier a little darker Now I'm going to take a little bit of the pink blush, this one right here, I'd rather have a fluffy brush, but like over the edge of this right here, just to try to bring a little bit of the pink. Just a tiny bit. Okay, so now we are going to, let me see, are my eyes even? Let me use a tiny, this has a really nice mirror too, by the way, the palette. I think that one has like a little more brown than this one. Okay, so now I am going to do my blush. And I'm going to go to the Laura Mercier, and this is what it looks like. And this is just a face palette. And it brings uh, three highlighters, two blushes, and a bronzer. So I'm going to drop things. I'm going to a little bit of the bronzer and just use a little bit right here. I don't want to go very low. It's a very light bronzer, so I think it will be hard to get carried away. But I still don't want a lot on, so... Put a little bit down my neck so that any one of you get anything through the uh, Nordstrom anniversary sale you know what's funny it's like I bought um, some of the stuff we get carried away just when it says sale right sometimes we buy things that I mean we've been wanting but we think it's such a great bargain and then you find it someplace else for the exact same price so you really didn't get it on sale but anyway um, I have a fresh set that I purchased that um, I showed it to you guys in my favorites I believe and then uh, when I went back to link it they were out so I decided to look on Sephora and they had the exact same set for the same, exact same price so even though it was a good bargain because it was the value was a lot more than if you would have purchased the individual items you know it was no big deal so I'm going to use this blush right here, the darker one. And I'm just going to, doesn't look like it's very, very pigmented, so I think we're okay. Well, somehow it looks darker on the, on the monitor now. Usually it looks a lot um, darker in person than on the monitor. 
And I'm also going to use the highlighter from here because I love Laura Mercier highlighters. They're my kind of highlighters. They don't look, you know, they're, they're not beamy to the moon. They're very subtle and beautiful and I really do enjoy them. All right, so let me get, I'm going to use this brush with my highlighter and I think I'm going to use this one right here in the corner. Hopefully it doesn't have glitter. I don't think I've ever seen a Laura Mercier highlighter with glitter, but just in case. See, it bring, gives you a little bit of glow, but it's not like BAM. I love Laura Mercier. That's probably one of my favorite brands. I think they, um, I mean, I'm not saying that it's not beautiful on younger skin at all. I think Laura Mercier will look beautiful on anyone. But I think that Laura Mercier is more forgiving for mature skin. I think that their products look really pretty on more mature skin. I don't know, I always feel pretty when I use Laura Mercier. So, I feel put together when I use Laura Mercier. So, um, I am going to do my brows. And I'm just going to use my ABH Brow Wiz. But that is boring, so I'm going to do that offline. And then I'm going to use my Essence Primer and my It Cosmetics Superhero on my lashes. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back and I went ahead and I fixed my hair, put some jewelry on. So now we are going to um, put some lipstick. I did add to my lower um, lash line the Milk Makeup. And this is the, it's like a skin color lip pencil. No, eye pencil. To brighten up the lower lash line. Because the other one that I have is a little too white. And it just looks like a little fake when I do it. So it just looks like way too white under my eyes. So we're going to do the lipstick now. So the lipstick that I have is also by Bobbi Brown. And this came as a duo with this lip gloss. And it was a full size lipstick. And this is the shade. And this is the um, Crushed Lip. lip color this is i don't know if you guys remember when i reviewed the crushed um lipstick the one that comes in the tube they made it into a bullet form so this is the shade it looks very pretty and um this is the first time i'm gonna wear it so my lip liner is this is by sd lauder double wear and it's in the shade apple cordial that is the color and let's do this I do have a little bit of I thought I had a tissue I do have a tissue a little bit of well um, it was lip plumper on my lips but I want to make sure that my lipstick is going to adhere. So let's take a little bit of that off. I like Estee Lauder lip liners. Now that you have to spend the money for those, I've had those for a while because I got them on sale at Ulta one time for like, they had them marked down $10. Um, that's probably like a year ago. And I bought several because the regular prices are like over 20 But they're very nice lip liners. It kind of has like a, I don't know, it smells to me like lipstick scent with a little bit of like citrusy in it. I'm, I don't know if I'm crazy, but. 
but it's not like vanilla or anything like that. If anything, it's more like a traditional lipstick. It's very smooth, but it's kind of sheer, which really doesn't really look like it would be sheer. If you see it, but um, I mean, it did look kind of sheer on my hand. And on my lips, it looks pretty, but it definitely feels, doesn't feel heavy. It feels very moisturizing. Um, it's not matte. It does have like a little bit of a shine, you know, not super glossy. But um, it definitely feels sheer. It feels like you have to keep going over and over again, um, you know, just to build up the color. So I want to try a little bit of the lip gloss right in the center. And I'm just going to put it in the center of my lip and then do it with my finger so that I don't get a lot of product on here. Well, a lot is not coming out. Okay. I'll just wipe this. It smells minty. I don't know if it's going to be... I don't know if it's supposed to be plumping. It doesn't say. But it gives it like a little bit of dimension in the middle of your lips. I'm going to swatch it for you. As you can see, it's a very light shade. It, ha it does look like it's glittery. Like it has a little bit of glitter. Let's see if I can do it like this. Can you guys see it? But it really doesn't... You don't feel anything on your lips. So I think we are done. So this is it, guys. This is um, the look that I created with everything well pretty much was brand new that i had on my face the foundation i really like it i think it looks very nice and natural um it looks very smooth it looks like it you know it's not sinking into like i have this line here that you can see it but i mean it's like if i go like this you don't see any foundation in there so it's not sinking into my foundations or my fine lines over here um I like the face palette. I think that the eyeshadow looks very pretty. It's more of a neutral look, but I do like these looks very often. I don't always want to have greens or purples or stuff like that on my eyes. So I definitely do love this. I thought it was very pigmented, easy to blend. Um, not Even if you're not very familiar with eyeshadows, this is something you can use because you have it's good and it's pigmented, but it's not where you're going to get carried away. You know, it, it allows you to build it up a little bit. There was no fallout whatsoever with the eyeshadow. None. My eyes, I have the worst. Look at the dark circles there. It's like you can actually see my veining. I think I got too much sleep because last yesterday I got home from work. I fell asleep for like four hours. Woke up, had something to eat. Went back to sleep at midnight. Woke up late. So um, I shouldn't be tired. But I definitely have dark circles. So anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you did purchase anything at the Nordstrom um, anniversary sale. And I will try to link all of these products for you. Um, if they're not available, I'll see if they are available in other websites. But I do love both of these palettes. I really think that they're very travel friendly. I mean, with this Bobbi Brown, really, this is all you need unless you know you can always take like a single pop of color or something if you think that you want something a little more but this was a very um i'll swatch it for you since i didn't use it it is a i don't know you can almost wear it i think as a very light pink highlighter which i think is more of a highlighter than it is a blush but it's you know you really can't see it so i think it's i think it's a highlighter but uh, you can include a blush and if you can take like a pop of color for your eyes if this is too boring for you but i love it i really think it's very pretty and it feels very nice on your i don't know it just feels nice bobby brown and laura mercier just feels nice so this laura mercier palette what can i say i love 
her products. And really, I don't remember exactly how much I paid for this, but just one, I have one of her full size um, blushes, and it's about the size of that. And it was not inexpensive, it was pricey. As a matter of fact, when I ordered it, I was so excited when I got it, I felt like I got ripped off because it was so small. And then I told myself, okay, we will not be buying any more single blushes from her because even though I love it, I just don't feel like I got my money's worth. But so a face palette is definitely worth it. I love the lipstick and I don't know how long wearing it is, but we'll see, but definitely very comfortable. So I love you guys and I will see you on my next video. Have a great weekend. Bye. Mwah.